Rising sea levels are a major consequence of climate change and are projected to unleash disasters of biblical proportions. In Mexico, CNN's Aisha Sase spends time with a man who is tackling the problem of sea rise at its source. Carl Hodges is proposing a unique and bold partnership with Mother Nature. In the Mexican town of Bahia, Quino, Hodges' flagship project is bringing new life to abandoned farmland. Here we're developing seawater systems to replace freshwater agriculture that has disappeared. They used up the freshwater. There's 200,000 hectares of abandoned farms. We're going to revitalize them, turn them green again using seawater. Seawater irrigation begins with a series of rivers dug inland from the ocean. A key of this system is that it's really truly integrated. We take water from the sea, that water goes on to produce plants both in the water and on the land. It goes in to produce animals, shrimp and fish, and then with their excrement involved it irrigates trees that are forest. The forest have meadows of crops that provide food and, and fuel and beauty. Using seawater to irrigate farmland, he's creating new ecosystems, jobs and infrastructure and potentially offsetting sea level rise across the world's coastal communities. We can supplement to a large extent the basic food crops of the world using seawater agriculture. So you have the agriculture and the aquaculture and I know that at the heart of your vision for the agriculture is a plant called salicornia. Tell us about that. It's an amazing plant. It has about 30 to 40 percent very high quality vegetable oil. It's like soybean and it's about 40 percent protein. And now it's the star. Salicornia is a sea tolerant plant that grows in salt marshes and mangroves. It produces both food and biofuel. For Hodges, its renewable energy and carbon absorption capacities give it huge potential. Between here and Wymus, our install capacity of a thousand cubic meters per second. That's one-fifth of the current ice melt of the Antarctic. Currently, the seawater project in Bahia Kino covers 40 hectares. Hodges is looking to expand that to 5,000 hectares. The land is obtained through a mixture of leasing and buying. The seawater farms will rely on investment from a range of stakeholders, including government, business and industry sectors. Hodges remains convinced that we have it in our power to stabilize the climate and believe science can solve the problem. I see seawater rivers around the world. Right now we're looking at 34 countries where we would have 50 rivers of the scale we've been looking at and bigger. And they would come inland and they would irrigate a quantity of desert coast in an ecologically sound fashion of a scale to take so much water inland that we'd stop sea level rise. This project is designed to show we can fix it with really good science, we can fix it with really good effort on, with these alliances, and we can make it beautiful and have one hell of a good time.